everybody, it shall be with a Chick Plus 3 at my channel. I love to share hauls, especially Dollar Tree hauls. So if you are a Dollar Tree treasure hunter or are like, what is this wondrous place you speak of filled with treasure? Then you have landed at the right place because do I have a Dollar Tree haul for you all today. So I hope you'll join me. What do you say? Let's go. I have all kinds of new finds. I had to go to the dentist, which I am not a fan of, and so I rewarded myself with a trip to a Dollar Tree that is practically across the street from my dentist. So that, I know, is one way to get me to go at least every six months, right? <laughs> so the first item I grabbed is brand new. I've never even heard of this it actually says new on the bottle and it is called tag sport so what it is this scent is fearless and it is a deep cleansing body wash it has a very nice clean scent to it it says that the scent is long lasting this is 18 fluid ounces so what cracked me up about this is on the back, get this, uniquely designed to attract the ladies. <laughs> Wet skin, squeeze gel into palm or onto washcloth, lather, body, and rinse. And then it says, consider yourself warned. I thought that is a really clever and cute packaging. So they did have a few other scents. So I just thought that that looked like something fun, new, and different that one of the men in my life could give it a try. And speaking of men in your life, although the ladies certainly could use this too, this is by Barbasol and it is a ear and nose trimmer with stainless steel blades. It says it's portable, easy and comfortably groom, unwanted ear and nose hair, anytime, anywhere. It's battery operated and it requires only one AA battery. So this is by Barbasol, you know, brand name. I'm sure these are out in the store right now, probably because of Father's Day. I have never seen this particular brand of um, trimmer carried at the Dollar Tree before. I have in the past, I believe, seen ear and nose trimmers, but I mean, this one looks really substantial and a brand name. And to go along with this by Barbasol, they also have this shave cream. I think Barbasol is such a classic brand and they had this one and then they also had the Barbasol for sensitive skin. Um, but again, I just don't think you can go wrong with this shave cream. So I thought that was a really nice find at the Dollar Tree. And you know, if Barbasol's not your thing, they do have a ton of shave cream, ones geared towards females, males at the Dollar Tree, wide variety. I just really liked the classic packaging, and so I thought for Father's Day, this was a really nice little find. Now, switching gears, the next thing I grabbed, these were by the register down on the very bottom. I've never seen them before, and I am a pen fanatic, so look at this. Isn't that so cute? So I'm not sure if that is a sunflower, a black-eyed Susan, a daisy. Um, so they had a couple other designs of these, you know, different flowers. It has a removable cap. I just thought this would be something really fun to write with. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it myself and add it to my pen collection or maybe put it into um, a giveaway, but I just could not leave this behind. The next item that I absolutely was not leaving behind is by Jot. And I am sorry, but look at these. You get five pop-up stickers. These things are huge. And I mean, just look at the joy on this llama's face. This just makes me smile. I actually think I'm going to bring this into work and, you know, stick it on some of the 
folders that I have to use every day kind of with my like to-do files. Now the next thing I picked up I was really pleasantly surprised to find these and this is by Crafter Square and it is the metal word and I picked up home. So it does have two little drilled holes here that you could hang this if you so desired. Um, I've used these metal words in the past. I've never found them so large at the Dollar Tree, but the smaller ones last fall, um, crafting before I started my channel that I had done. And I used hot glue to secure these to some of the metal frames at the Dollar Tree, and I didn't have, you know, any issue. Sometimes this galvanized metal the hot glue can peel off the back but in any case I was really pleased to find the large words and they had a couple others too but I just went with home so I was really really pleased to find this the next thing I was super pleased about was that all the books were like newly stocked really nice books there were so many that I was very tempted, but I limited myself to one, and it is called Citizen Farmers, and it is a way to grow healthy food, build thriving communities, and give back to the earth. So I thought that this would be a perfect uh, Father's Day gift for my husband. He loves to garden. Retail price in the U.S. is marked $24.95. I'll say it over and over again, the Dollar Tree is a great place to look for books. My number one place to look for books is at the library because I love to borrow books and there's no cost involved in that as long as you return them on time. Um, but second to that, the Dollar Tree, you know, for books to be able to keep in your collection awesome awesome deal the dollar tree has really been rocking it with their quality book selection okay now this next thing i am telling you i could not believe um that i found these these have been on my wish list since i saw somebody haul them for the first time and i was at the register and the um young lady in front of me was buying a service set of the lemon dishes great deal you know she had like probably literally service for 12 the plates the bowls the glasses and so as the cashier was wrapping her dishes it gave me a little bit of time to kind of scope out the things you know that they put around the register well i could not believe it at the register next to the one i was at um like at the bagging place was this carton and sticking out of the carton were these the happy planner sticker books i could not believe it now i normally would have never even noticed these because they weren't even at the register i was checking out at they were the one next to it and they were stacked like this in a uh, little carton with just this much of the top showing. I would have typically checked out Ben Dunn and maybe if I glanced I would have seen these. So these were not out in any of the main aisles. So I was shocked, shocked to find these. So I grabbed myself a set and then I picked up an additional set that I thought would be fun to use for a future giveaway. So, what these are is 1,557 pieces. It's the Happy Planner brand. Me and my big ideas sticker sheets. I love that it has this little elastic band to keep it closed at the bottom. And then inside, it is filled with all of this unbelievable goodness. I mean, look at all of the holiday designs in here. I mean, I cannot tell you how happy that it made me to find these. So there's that one. And then the other design is this. And again, it has the pink elastic to close it. And look at these. So many stickers. I am telling you, it was like I about screamed out loud and 
grabbed them and told the cashier, I can't believe I found these. She looked at me a little bit, you know, like I was nuts, but I didn't care. I was so excited. The next item that I grabbed, I was also really excited to find, and now I'm wondering if I should have picked up two. And it is this adorable little dollhouse. I mean, this thing is super cute just as it is and would be a great gift for a kiddo or to put away for toys for tots. But what I decided to do with mine is I had been on the hunt of one of these because I've mentioned it here 101 times probably that I am a Halloween fanatic. And so what I need this for is to add to my Halloween collection to create another little haunted house. So that is what I am going to do with this. So I was really pleased to find that. And the next thing I picked up, they had a huge selection and you cannot beat the quality and price of the cards. So look at this. This is by Voila and it's Super Dad. I just thought that that was really sweet, very simple. This dad pops out um, and my son that I'm going to give this to, he and the kids are really into the superheroes all of that so I thought that this was very fitting to give to him so I was really happy to find that um, again great selection of cards at the Dollar Tree so the next item I picked up is for myself it's a repeat purchase it's by Global Beauty Care and it is these retinol eye patches I'm telling you I love these things I mean you know long term I don't really know how much of a difference they make but when I use them, they feel so nice and cool on. And then when I remove them, the skin under my eyes definitely feels smooth and nice. So, you know, it's just a little bit of pampering. It makes me feel good. Um, the price point is right. So whenever I can find these, I do always try to grab myself one if I know I had used my last one up. I like that it's not an entire face mask, so you can just put this on, um, you know, and it does not interfere with whatever doing other things and you get a nice little eye treatment. Now the next thing I grabbed, um, I got one of these for myself and then a figured a couple I would give away, you know, to some of my co-workers. I believe I had seen others haul these in the past, and this was the first time they were finally available in my store. I had had them on my wish list, and it is the loofah soaps. So I got this lavender one, which is purple, the citrus scent orange, and this smells so good. I mean, that looks like just like a dried orange slice, doesn't it? And then I also was able to find this one, and it is coconut. And they all smell really nice. So I'm going to have a hard time deciding which one I want to keep for myself. I'm leaning towards this orange one, but I am um, unsure. But I thought, you know, these would just make fun little gifts I can leave on my co-workers desk just as a little because gift. So I was really pleased to finally be able to locate these um, at my local store. I love to share Dollar Tree content on my channel with you all. It brings me so much joy. And so if that's content that interests you, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing and, uh, you know, taking part in the wonderful community that we have going on here because uh, you guys all bring me so much joy. And so I hope I can return the favor to you. So that's everything I have to share for tonight. As always, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of it with me. I had so much fun, and until next time, everybody, please be well.